latest. Chris? And after a night last night of rescues and evacuations, the last thing anyone here wants to see is more rain. And we've had some showers here off and on over the last hour or so. So many people in this community keeping such a close eye on these floodwaters. The panic started late Tuesday night. One of several landslides on Kalama River Road trapped this man, rescued after being pinned against a wall in his own home by rock and debris. Downtown, the water rose quickly. Uh, once the river eroded over one of the banks, um, we only had like 30 minutes and everybody started pulling out. The Camp Kalama RV Park was evacuated. Dozens of police, tow trucks and wreckers all rushing to get 80 people to higher ground. But not all homes made it out. Yeah, kind of sad. Do you know this couple and their six-year-old son left with their home. Their best friends, one of those left behind, destroyed. The rig, I know there's water damage and it's going to be irreplaceable. You know, that's a high spot. The owners of this downtown store scrambled to move product to higher ground Tuesday night. Today, they clean up and pump out the 10 inches of water they got inside. Lucky. Yeah, we're we're safe, kids are safe, family safe. You know, this is a bump in the road. We'll get yeah. by it. City Hall is one of several downtown buildings still underwater, including the police and fire stations. But with flood control pumps now running and a berm built, the mayor hopes for the best, knowing the reality is they are not out of the woods yet. Oh, I think there's a lot of serious concern about uh, what could happen if, uh, you know, uh, if it's, it's uh, the perfect storm, so to speak, you know, uh, the whole town could be impacted. Back here live now, these downtown floodwaters nowhere near gone at this point tonight. One of the reasons we even are standing here is because this city has two flood control pumps and one of those two pumps was not working last night. That has since been fixed and is once again running with more rain in the forecast. Live in Kalama, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin 6 News. Well, we certainly hope it keeps working throughout the night this time. Thanks for the update, Chris. Okay, we're going to head out to the coast because some of the worst flooding we've seen tonight, Tillamook County. Mm -hmm. The widespread flooding there has even closed the Tillamook Cheese Factory. And our Eileen Park is there and joins us.